Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's take the latest news coming in from the camp of Ghana, Black Meteors. NS Norma Apia, he's a ringer, and the player has come out to apologize after the poor performance in the um, Afcon, which happened in Morocco. He has also spoken about the reason why he almost left camp, and he has also apologized on that. We will talk about the details in this video. Now, Manchester United is also set to sign a Japanese born Ghanaian goalkeeper. That is, um, you know, Zion Suzuki, and um, he might be joining Manchester United. What are the details? We will talk about this boy in this video. Then, Ghana, we are also set to play against Rwanda. That is the Ghana Black Queens. What are the details? Let's talk about all this and more. Before then, can you drop us a like, like the video? After that, make sure you subscribe if you are new. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. So, let's begin from the camp of Ernest Noama Apia. I brought you a lot of updates from this player's camp after the coach for the Ghana Black Meteors, that is Ibrahim Tanko, came out to say that the player wanted to leave camp ahead of the last game against Guinea when Ghana withdrew one all. After that, that is what the coach said. Now, um, Fred Achi, who is the Black Meteors Management Committee chairman, came out to say that there was no truth in that, but the player, he has come out to speak, and this is the official post he has made after Ghana exited the 2023 AFCON in Morocco. He said this, no excuses but our performance as a group was below expectation but personally i could do better to help the team as a group if we have um if we ever have the opportunity again ghana deserves better i made some wrong decisions but i am grateful for this opportunity he also brought out this highlighting the reason why he wanted to leave camp and others he said back to the base to grind hustle and grow the break have been full of unlocked dreams, lessons, and growth on national duty. In accepting this growth path, I will take this opportunity to clear unfounded stories of choosing an uninvited all-star game over Ghana and any of the uh, any of us feeling bigger than our gifted under 23 mates. I had issues over health, health concerns with uh, my team. Um, after a long season and fatigue to join the under 23 since the tournament was not on FIFA calendar, explains why I had to leave after the second game. No excuses, um, but our performance as a group was below expectation. But personally, I could do better as a group. If we ever have the opportunity again, Ghana deserves better. I made some wrong decisions, but I'm grateful for this opportunity. That is what Ernest Noama Apia is saying concerning, you know, him almost leaving camp. He was saying that it was down to fatigue and other health issues and, um, you know, a whole lot of stuff. But he has accepted that the team did not perform well. And going forward, they are going to do enough. You know, many many Ghanaians have been complaining about his, um, you know, attitude in camp and a whole lot of stuff. So this one actually confirms that the coach, Ibrahim Tanko, was rather seeing the truth as, you know, Fred Achi was lying in this particular sense as I brought you update on this channel. So that is the latest news from the camp of Ernest Nuama Apia on the reason why he almost exited camp. Now let's talk about the goalkeeper that Manchester United is set to sign him. His name is Zion Suzuki. Yes, Zion Suzuki um, was born in 21st August 2002. He is a Japanese footballer who plays as a goalkeeper for um, you know, the Japanese national youth size as well. Now, currently, um, or he was born in Little Rock, Arkansas, in United States of America. He's 1.9 meter, that's 56 feet 3 inches. And um, he is very fantastic goalkeeper for Ura Red Diamonds in Japan. Now, Manchester United is yet, or they are now going in to sign this particular goalkeeper who is a fantastic goalkeeper. You know that Manchester United, their, uh, their main goalkeeper, that's David here, is set to leave. And they are now weighing options to sign um, Andre Onana um, from, that is Inter Milan. So if Onana comes in, then they might also get a backup because their second choice goalkeeper might also be leaving the camp. So in this Premier League side, Manchester United is reportedly close to securing the services of Japanese goalkeeper Zan Suzuki, who has a Ghanaian heritage through his mother. As I said already, he was born in 2002 and currently Manchester United is set to submit a bid of £5 million 
which will actually break record for um you know any player who is being signed from the japanese league the earlier record was 4.5 million by kyogo furushashi into um you know 2021 and this time around we may see this goalkeeper who is a japanese goalkeeper but he has a ghanaian descent through the mother so maybe you get to know how things will go the mother is a voltarian from ghana here and that is why many are talking about this goalkeeper whose name is zion suzuki will he join manchester united well time will actually tell he has played for the um you know japanese under 15 under 16 under 17 under 18 under 23 and the senior side he has even made one debut for them um in 2022 but let's wait and see whether the player might change his mind to play for ghana as it stands now no one has contacted him so we can't speak much about zion suzuki now let's move on and talk about ghana black queens the team has also been paired with rwanda so it's going to be rwanda versus ghana so the first round of matches will happen from 18 to 26 september 2023 this is the road to calf um you know women afcon which is going to happen in morocco 2024 so the first round of matches as i said already will happen from 18 to 26 september 2023 it's going to be rwanda versus ghana and the round two that is from 27th november to 5th december 2023 that is when the second round of matches will also happen so ghana um versus rwanda um the country that will qualify will face the winner of gambia versus namibia so ghana we will be playing against rwanda and we will also play against either gambia or namibia this will determine our fate in the next afcon that ghana will be playing we believe that with um nora hopter squad they will do well to beat either rwanda and also gambia or namibia in this sense so guys let me know your thoughts under the comment box many clubs are signing and manchester united they are also set to sign ghanaian um, you know a japanese born but ghanaian goalkeeper that is um, zion suzuki and um, we will see how things will go whether he'll join manchester united and maybe later he would like to switch nationality to play for ghana we can speak enough on that and as no Mapia has also come out with some apology on the performances of the ghana black meteors in the just um you know ended afcon which happened in morocco for ghana and we will also uh, we also spoke about you know the latest news on ghana black queens playing against rwanda and also having opportunity to play against either gambia or namibia in this sense let me know your thoughts under the comments box don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this was kenny tv and of course we shall meet later Thank <laughs> you.